Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Biedenhop, and this webinar will give a quick overview of how to submit a new instructor document. This webinar was recorded in December 2018, and we make small changes from time to time. So while the real pages you work with may be a little bit different than uh, what I show you here, the general process should be the same or very similar. And we will do new webinars whenever there are substantive changes. Uh, note that accredited institutions are not required to submit instructor information because faculty qualifications are established and reviewed by your accreditors. If you are a new school seeking initial certification, you will need to click the New Instructor Document button when you are in Section 2 of the initial application. If you are a currently certified school, go ahead and log into the Advera system here at mo.advera.com and it will take you to your school's dashboard. You will want to click on Documents and then on the right hand side of the screen, the drop down box Start Document, find and click New Instructor. And when you open the document, it will ask you to select an individual currently listed with the school. So let's see, there's three of us in there. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and say that temp user is going to be our new instructor. We would click Continue. Uh, any courses that temp user is going to teach, so let's say welding, can't spell, I'm not going to be teaching English apparently. Okay, so welding safety. Uh, then I would save before we do anything else. Always save. Save your data. Then this is asking to upload the verification of instructional qualifications. So if I'm teaching welding safety, I've obviously had to have some sort of coursework or certification in welding and safety procedures. So you would upload a copy of this person's resume and uh, any particular certifications or licensure in the field. And it's very important that you provide that because we are looking at a combination of education and experience greater than or equal to whatever it is that you're trying to teach a student. If you are teaching towards a national certification, we expect to see the instructor have either national certification or have a wealth of experience in the field. So once that information is in there, um, you've already saved, you would go ahead and click Submit, and it would be sent to the department for review. So that's when you have somebody who is already in the system. It's pretty easy. But let's look at adding somebody who is not already in the system. Still super easy. You get this list again. You know, these are the three people, but it's somebody brand new to the school. So all you would do would click this little plus button. You're going to add a user. And uh, while we would prefer to have uh, specific emails for each of these individuals, I know some schools have uh, you may one, two, or three generic emails, and they're already assigned usually to the administrators. And you know we don't want you to copy the same emails because that is really going to uh, screw things up in the system. It's going to bump people. It's going to take a huge long time for us to correct on the back end. So in individual distinct emails for everybody. Uh, for the instructors, if they don't want to use their personal email or the school does not have an email address for them, you can use a dummy email. So let's say new instructor at dummy email. Um, and when you click continue, you'll put in this person's first name and their last name. Click save. And then this will take you back to this screen, and you'll see the new instructor is the very first one on your list. So you would use them, click continue. And then you would complete this the same way we did the other way. What courses are taught? Yeah, welding 102. Uh, you would upload their resume and certifications or licensure. Click Save. 
and click Submit. The department will review all this information, and so long as we feel that the school has adequately supported the qualifications of this instructor with its documentation, the department will approve, and then voila, you have a brand new instructor for your school. So thank you so much for uh, viewing our web short on how to complete a new instructor document. If you have any questions about completing the document, you can contact the department or you can use the little blue support button in Advera to contact the help desk and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and you have a great day.